What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another shrine for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This, this one is called Sinekawak Shrine and uh, it is uh, next to the Serene Stable. And uh, this is the exact same stable as in Breath of the Wild. So should be easy to find because it's on the way to um, to the, the the Rito village. So that's the location that I'm in. Obviously, I've got no map in this area still. So uh, I can't really show you pinpointed on a map. But it's uh, it's on the on the on the path on the road to um, in a straight line. If you go to um, um, the Rito village exactly like I did. So it's right down there. So as you can see, you pass the Karok Bridge and then you're going towards um, the Rito Village and it's on the way next to the stable, the Serene Stable. Right, this one is a little bit more elaborate. So um, I had to do it a couple of times in order to try to get it as uh, right as possible. There is no right way of doing this stuff anyway. It's, uh, it's all um, down to your creativity and how you see things and um, uh, how you solve problems. Now, the first thing I did was to get all this plank here, the big one, and then get the two small ones as well and uh, glue them next to it, just so I can have enough space, because there's going to be quite a big sphere that we're going to need to uh, take up to the top, and, and that's probably the hardest one. The small one it's not is not uh, very difficult, but uh, but the big one is quite, uh, it's quite heavy. But that's not what we're doing right now. We're just lifting ourselves off to the next area. So all we need to do is to just put all of these um, balloons in here and just attach them to the side. And then we've only got one more. So we just attach it in the center in here. And then all I needed to do was just get one of these um, um, pillars with the uh, with the flame and um, turn it around like facing upside down or facing the right way up and uh, just put it on one of them I'll put it in the middle in here but he was only actually working on one of these balloons the second one was uh, was not working and that's that's enough because I mean Link is not very heavy so should be enough to to lift him off and then you do the same thing but you do it on the other side and you just glue it in there you know just just like that and uh, the platform should rise up from the ground very very simple this uh, first area in here because it's only us but uh, when we got a sphere that can bounce around and kind of like roll off it becomes a lot more uh, complicated to do but uh, with my help hopefully you're going to be able to do this in no time this is the area in here so we're going to go and let let ourselves go as high as possible. You don't have to. I only did this because I didn't know if there was any chests on this platform, this metal platform up here. Uh, so I jumped on top of there, but there are no chests. There's only one chest in this uh, in this shrine as far as I know. Uh, and it's going to be, um, once you put the big sphere down, that's where, where the uh, thing is going to be. So now, the next part of this uh, puzzle is going to be we just need to jump down and um, uh, get one of these balloons in here there's two of them up here and uh, what we need to do we just need to put it under that switch there and then just put one of these uh, posts with a flame under it and uh, that will lift off the balloon and it will touch the, the switch on top and that's really it then um, the bars will open and uh, you'll be able to go over to the other side to do the two um, the two spheres now just put it exactly like this I just dropped it in just touch that switch up there and that that's it these bars will open again then it's time for us to go over to this side and to the most complex part of this puzzle now you can see on the far end you got uh, a big hole on the right hand side and then a little hole on the left hand side. The little hole we're going to leave it for last uh, because it's the simplest one to do. But the big one we're going to do it first and that's the hardest one because of the ball rolling off all the time. So what, we, what I did in this, uh, in this example was just grab all of the balloons that I had available for me. So I've got three balloons. Uh, and get and grab like the planks in here like the raft kind of thing in here and um, just put it like that and then um, did exactly the same thing as I did in the first one 
with a little exam exemption because of the ball rolling off so I didn't want the ball to roll off so what I did was uh, I put the the pillow with the torch or with the flame um, blocking the ball from rolling off so if we've got like two on this on this side then you can put the the sphere in the center as you can see I, I'm doing right now you can use these flame things in here but I didn't use them um, I just decided to just do it like this so as you can see you just put it like that and then if you put your pillar with the flame uh, pointing you know in between that space right there oh, not here but you know right there in between the sphere and the balloon then you will see that the, the sphere is not going to be able to roll off now because there's no enough space for it to come out but we'll still be able to remove it with um, with the ultra hand so now all we need to do is just put the other two in here uh, just glue it in and then just gra grab another one and um, put it on the other side to balance everything off it's quite a wicked um, contraption in here and it's very unsafe but I mean it works so there you go our big sphere is going up and that's the hardest one to do so uh, it should be uh, with my ideas you should be able to do something similar or uh, something that um, that uh, is more elaborate you know I mean like it's up to your creativity really you can just do whatever you like this game, can, this game can be done, and these shrines can be done in so many different ways. It's ridiculous. So when you get up here um, after the the balloons, if the balloons go all the way to the top, it's not a problem. You can just do it the same way. But if they don't, you can just grab the sphere just like that, and then you'll see that the you know the pillar with the flame is going to fall off because you can kind of like shaking the um, uh, the sphere. And as you can see, there you go. And then you can just pull the sphere out towards you and that's the big sphere done you can just drop it off on that big hole in there and that really it is only for the shrine for the uh, chest it's not for for to go and get your white blessing it's just for the chest so all you need to do now is just jump down and glide off to that hole in there and then uh, just grab yourself um, grab yourself the opal inside of the chest now we're gonna go and get the small one the small one is very easy but obviously you've run out of balloons so you need to come up here and uh, get rid of all of the contraption in here just remove all the balloons as soon as you've removed two of them the other one will just the platform will just fall down and uh, that's it uh, now all we need to do is very simple with this one just grab one of the balloons and just glue it onto that sphere because the sphere is so um, small it will just lift off anyway so you don't need to worry about uh, about it uh, not not being powerful enough to do it so now all you need to do is just uh, get the flame next to the balloon so the balloon can go the right way up and then just glue it up and that's it you can just uh, climb the steps or climb the ladders and, and just go all the way to the top and um, and grab your uh, your orb your small orb and throw it in the hole and that will allow you to move forward over to uh to collect your blessing your light of blessing so as you can see this one is right up the top as you as you can see you can just just uh detach it and uh throw it in that hole in there and there you go that will unlock the the shrine for you everything will be done you can get your blessing and that is really it for this one guys so i guess this is it thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like consider subscribing so i can continue releasing more content like this i'll be back again with some more tears of the kingdom very very soon so thanks again for watching i will see you in the next one goodbye